Hello, this is Fix, and today I am going to show you that a 64 gigabyte micro SD card does and will work on this period play and how to install it. Also, I will be showing you how to create a second partition on this card for those who want to get rid of the low internal memory issue. This last part is optional. Here you can see that my old 16 gigabyte card is in there. It shows 14.29 gigabyte because this is what's left after formatting the card. The actual amount of gigabyte is always lower than printed on the package. For the card allocate space for cache, paging, temporarily files, and system space. I have opened up the app, link to SD, to show you that I have a second partition already installed. For those who don't have it already, don't worry because the steps for making one are identical. Before continuing to the first step, be sure to back up your old SD card completely to your PC so you can copy all this back to the new SD card. For those that have already installed a second partition, even more important, move all your apps that are installed on the second partition back to the internal memory storage of your phone. If you don't do this, all those apps won't work on the new card. So back to business, first step is to properly unmount the SD card that's already in there and replace it with the new 64 gigabyte SD card, which comes straight out of the package. Next I will try to mount the new SD card like usual, but as you can see the period play does not comply. Don't worry about the damaged SD card message. This pops up because the card is not properly formatted yet. To do this you will need to use the erase SD card option. And there you go. A shiny new 64 gigabyte micro SDXC card properly installed on the Zperia Play. This next part of my video is optional for those who want to install a second partition on this new or any card for that matter. Unmount the SD card and slide it in the adapter, then insert the adapter in your PC. It may also work using just the phone and cable, but I can't guarantee this, because I have not tried it that way. I think it's better to eliminate any interference from the phone whatsoever while doing this. Open up Minitool Partition Wizard, and right-click on the new SD card. Now click on the option Move, Slash, Resize. Then just slide the right side of the slider until you reach your desired partition size. I recommend not going over 1 gigabyte, for I have read that it may cause problems. Right click on the newly made part, and choose the option Create. In the window that pops up, you can leave everything to default, except for the option File System. You have to set this to FAT, or FAT32.
Now we are going to set both partitions to non-active and to primary. So the phone and the app move to SD can recognize them both. Click on OK and we are ready to go. That's it for the PC part. Now reinsert the SD card and let's have a look. The app move to SD does not yet recognize my newly and Baker made second partition. For this to show correctly I will have to reboot my phone. And there it is, my new 64 gigabytes micro SD card properly installed with a bigger second partition, ready to go and be abused by a happy and satisfied me. Well, that's it for now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. So goodbye and have a nice day.